was for this a child was born to save a world so cold and hollow the sleeping town did not know that lying in a manger low a savior king who had no home has come to heal our sorrows is there room in your heart is there room in your heart is there room in your heart for god to write his Shepherds counting sheep at night Do not fear the glory light You are precious in His sight God has come to raise the lowly Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart? Is there room in your heart for God? write his story you can come as you are but it may set you apart when you make room in your heart and trade your dreams for his glory make room in your heart make room in your heart promise tight every wrong will be made right the road is straight the burdens light for in his hands he holds tomorrow is there room in your heart is there room in your heart is there room in your heart for god to write his It may set you apart When you make room in your heart And trade your dreams for His glory Make room in your heart 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 All is calm and all is bright everywhere but in your heart tonight. They're singing carols of joy and peace, but you feel too far gone and too far out. always loved you, child, and he always will. Somewhere in your silent night, heaven hears the song. Your broken heart has cried. Hope is here, just lift your head for love has come to find.
broken heart has cried Hope is here, just lift your head For love has come to find you Somewhere in your silent You can say it's a Christmas song, it's a spring song, it's a summer song, it's he's my all in all. Amen. And I hope when I leave this world, <laughs> they can put it on my tombstone if they want to. Jesus is my all in all. Amen. And that's all that matters. And it's, it's all that matters is him. We, uh, we try and work so hard for things, and I, like I said, I've worked so many years, and all of us have, trying to, the Bible says occupy till I come, Jesus did, but we all work for things down here that don't really, in the long run, it don't really matter. Right. And I thought, I think about things sometimes, how many years I wasted not working for the Lord. I've done everything else but what God would have us to do. Yeah. But you know, you can't dwell on the past. He's given us a bright future, yeah. and he's given us time now to work. Yeah. And uh, I said, what time I've got left in this world, I want to live for him. Yeah. He's the only, he's, he's our all in all. But yeah. Yeah. He's my all and all. He's my all and all. Well, every time I get in trouble on Him, I'll call. He's my bread when I'm hungry. He's my shelter in time of a storm. He's my rock in a worried land. And no one can do me no harm. He's my all and all. He's my all and all. Well, every time I get in trouble on him, I'll call. When I get down in the valley, then he'll take me by the hand. He'll lead me up to the top of the mountain. Let me view that promised land. He's my all and all. He's my all and all. Well, every time I get in trouble on him, I'll call. Some sweet day I'm going to travel to that happy home on high. Cause I've been washed in the blood of Jesus and I know I'm ready to go home. He's my all and He's my all and all. Well, every time I get in trouble 
on him I'll call. I hate to go and leave my children in this awful world of sin. But if they've been washed in the blood of Jesus, then I know we'll meet again. He's my all and all. He's my all and all. Well, every time I get in trouble on Him, I'll call. Yes, every time we get in trouble on Him, just call. And I'm so glad. You know what? I'm glad it ain't every time we get in trouble, but it's it's all the time. When it's good, when it's bad, you got God to call upon. Because He yeah. gives us that promise, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you, but go all the way with you, even to yeah. the end. Yeah. And what, there's nobody in this whole wide world can make that promise and stick with it. Right. Yeah. Your mom and dad will have to leave, your brothers and they will all have to leave sometime. But we've got God that's able to keep that promise. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Does anybody else got anything upon their hearts? Let's let Brother Blake, Blake come on. Appreciate Blake because of being with us today. Yes, yeah, sir, brother. Yeah. Amen. Amen. If you have a Bible this morning, turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 17. Amen. Matthew chapter 17. And uh, amen. We're going to read a few verses there. Have a word of prayer and then get in and see what the Lord has for us today. Amen. Appreciate the Lord for every opportunity we have. Another year God's blessed us with. Amen. And uh, got a new title since I was here the last time and that is one of Papaw. Amen, and so uh, appreciate the Lord for that. Uh, but if you want to uh, stand, if you're able, if you're not able, God understands that. Going to begin in verse 1, read down just a few verses, and then we're going to pray. Amen, the Bible said, And after six days Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine as the sun. Amen. And his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with them. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If thou wilt, let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and one for Elias. And while yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Heavenly Father, most righteous God, Lord, as we come. I, I once again this morning, Lord, in the name of Jesus, that name. I, all that's above every name, God, I thank you. I, I, for this opportunity this morning, God, to be back in the house of the Lord once again. I, and Lord, I pray, would you reach down I, I, and anoint me your servant I, I, with the Holy Ghost and with power. I, and Lord, I pray, as David said, I, I let the words of my mouth I, I, the meditation of my heart I, I be acceptable in thy sight I, I hold my Lord my strength and my redeemer I, and will not fail to praise you in Jesus name I, I, amen and amen and you can be seated Amen. I felt like uh, a lot of folks probably today. I, I, amen. A Christmassy type message, but I couldn't get away from this. I, I, amen. A mountaintop experience. I, I, now truly, there were some wonderful things happen here I, I, on top of that mountain. I, I've been getting able to see Moses and Elias talking with him. I, and then hearing that voice out of the cloud. I, I, that this is my beloved son in whom I, 
I am well pleased. I, I hear you him. What a wonderful thing that that was. I, I, but I thought about what it took to get there. I, I, amen. The call that God had put upon their life. I, I, whenever he passed by them one day and said, come and follow me. I, and I think sometimes I, I, we fail to understand what it takes I, I, to have a mountaintop experience. I, I sometimes there's some effort. There's a climb that's involved. I, and you know as I look back over my life I, I, Amen I'm so glad the Bible said That we're to be in stun I, I, In season and out of season I, I, You know there have been a few Out of season times in my life I, I, But I'm glad when I was On the mountain I, I, When I was making the climb I can say to you today I, I, That God is good I, I, All the time I, And all the time God is good I, And as I begin to look at some scripture of some other mountaintop experiences amen I want to share with you today I thought about Noah up there in Genesis chapter 8 how that the Lord had set him down upon the mountains of Ariad but what it took to get him there amen he had to hear from God I build that ark and then ride out the storm and you know sometimes in our life the enemy would love to distract us and not let us hear from God plainly because he don't want us to end up on that mountaintop that place to where we start over to where God does a new work in our life but he'd love for us to focus on the storm but I'm reminded of that old song right out your storm he's right there with you just like the disciples had to climb up I know I had to do a little work to get there and brother if we're going to make it to that mountaintop I, I go be land we're going to have to I, I, amen endure hardness I, that's a good soldier I, I, the Lord Jesus Christ I, and brother we're going to have to do a little work to get there I, I, but I believe that God I, has got a mountaintop experience I, I, for each and every one of us Hallelujah. I, I, but sometimes, I, I, amen, that enemy, he tries to get our attention. I, I, amen, on one side or the other. I, I, before we get discouraged, I, I throw up our hands and queer. I, I, but amen, can you imagine? I, I, amen, what Moses, I, I, amen, some of the other old prophets, I, I had to go through with to see what they saw. I, I amen, to, I, I experience what they experienced. I, I, well, my Bible said Jesus Christ. I, I'm the same yesterday, I, I, today, and forever. I, and brother, just like God allow, I, I know, amen, to start over on that mountain. I, I, brother, when you and I climb that mountain of faith, I, I believe God can help us to begin again. I, I, that we can forget those things that are behind us I, and reach for those things that are before us. I, and that's why we need to press toward the mark. I, I, for the prize of the high calling of God I, I, in Christ Jesus. I, I said we need to remember I, I, he'll help us make the climb. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I, but it's not just here in Genesis 8. I, I thought if you go over a few chapters, I, I, amen, into chapter 22, I, I, you'll find, amen, the story of Abraham I, and Isaac. I, and before he ever got up on that mountain, I, I, it seemed like that God had asked him to do a heart thing. I, have you ever had a heart thing face you in life? I, I'm thinking, well, I, I don't know if I can do that. I, I don't know if I can deal with that. I, I, but I'm glad the Bible said that God's grace is sufficient I, and his strength is made perfect I, I, in our weakness. I, I, he was willing I, I, to make the climb. I, and but I believe as he climbed up one side of that mountain. I, I, amen. I believe God was preparing that ram I, I, to get caught in that thicket up there on that mountain top. I, I, but he had never made the climb. I, I, he'd never seen the provision of God. I, and brother, sometimes, I, I, amen, I think it's good for us. I, I, 
Amen to understand how the Bible said they that sow in tears I shall reap in joy and he that goeth forth weeping I bear in precious seed shall doubtless I come again with rejoicing I bring in his seeds with him and I've told so many lately I, you know there's trials seem like on every hand I, I had one dear old sister tell me the other day I, I just come out of one valley and seem like I go right back into another one I, I, but amen I'm glad that God will meet that need I, I, amen each and every day of your life I, and God had told Abraham I, I want you to offer up your son I, I, your only son Isaac I, I put one in the mountains there I, and as they were getting ready to make that climb I, I, Isaac said but I see the wood I, and amen I see the fire but where's the sacrifice I, and I'm glad for Abraham's testimony I, I, he said God will provide I, and, but I'm thankful amen. today that God is still I, I Jehovah child of the Lord God I, I provide and he'll make a way I, I, where there seems to be no way I, I, but sometimes I, I find that provision I've got to climb a mountain Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I know a lot of times, I, I folks, they just want it delivered to them. I, and I mean, sometimes God does drop them handfuls of purpose in our life. I, I, but amen, there are other times I, I, that it's, amen, a, a, a little bit more labor involved. I, I, amen, and the Bible said, be not deceived. I, I, God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, I, I, that shall he also reap. I, I, amen, sometimes you got to dig in that valley. I, I, sometimes you got to put forth that effort. I, I, amen, pray and exercise your faith. I, I, for without faith, I, I, it's impossible possible to please him and he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him you know I was down in Tennessee a few weeks ago and there was a little lady come I got down at the altar you know some churches that I go to they don't really bother me I know it's right in beside her and I said ma'am amen you want me to get saved have you ever been Say before she said, Not like this. Woo! And she got up shouting. I, I, but I believe if you put forth some effort, I, I, amen, God can reward you. I, I, amen, but sometimes I, I, you got to step out of your comfort zone I, and you got to climb that mountain. Yeah. Right. Amen. Think about it. I, I said, If you look back over your life, I, uh, have you ever thought about some of the things uh, uh, amen that God has led you through uh, uh, amen boy I wouldn't want to try to make this life without him would you uh, uh, amen not knowing what direction which way to go uh, uh, the decisions to make uh, uh, but I'm glad he said the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord uh, and if you let him he'll guide you uh, uh, just like in Exodus chapter 3 uh, uh, amen Moses saw a burning bush uh, I, amen, there at the Mount of Horeb. I, I think about it. I, I, amen, if he had never turned aside I, and been up on that mound, someone maybe said, I, I, that was coincidence. I don't believe it was coincidence I, I, that God had a burning bush for him I, and God began to tell him I, I, what he was going to do in his life. I, I, he had run from his past. I, I, amen, he had had a past just like we all have a past. I, I, but God had a plan for his life. I, and brother, when you climb that mountain, I, I believe you can find out that God, the same God, I, I, that had a plan for Moses, I, has got a plan for you. I, I, you're not an accident. I, I, Paul said, I am what I am. I, I, by the grace of God and the grace I, I, that he bestowed upon me was not in vain. I, I said, I'm thankful I, I, that I made that climb one day. Amen, think about it. I, amen, I feel him here today. I, I, amen, he said, let me turn aside I, and see this great sight. I, I, there was some effort involved. I, I, but you know, I, I, sometimes, amen, we take that for granted. I, I was... Uh, talking to a young man there the other day. I, amen. You know what he told me? He said, well, I, he said, I ain't going to get my prayers. I said, God's not your genie. That's right. Amen. 
Amen. I said they some effort. I, I, the Bible said, let us not grow weary. I, I, and we'll do it for a new season. I, I, we shall we give. I, I, we thank God. Amen. 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 It's not just asking and then name and claim it. Right. Amen. Sometimes I, I, you got to tarry. I, I, you got to wait upon the Lord. I, I, but just as Moses turned aside, I, could you imagine how he changed his life? I, I, when God told him, I'm going to send you down into Egypt, I, he began to make an excuse. I, he began to sound slow of speech. I, I, but God took away every excuse that he had. I, and God went with him. I, I, God worked with him. I, and when we climb that mountain, I, I, we'll find out that we're not alone in this battle. I, I, but the Bible said, greater is he I, I, who is within you. I, I, that he that's in the world, thank God. I, I'm glad I don't got to face tomorrow alone I, if I'll climb that mountain. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I said he's got on the mountaintop, but he's got in the valley. I, yeah. I, but if you're willing to climb out of that valley, I, I believe God's got a mountaintop experience. I, I, amen. Just like Peter said, Lord, I, it's good for us to be here. I, I, but what about the other disciples? I, I were with the others, amen, that could have had that same experience, maybe. I, I, amen, I don't want to sit on the sidelines. I, I, amen, I want to turn aside. I, I see what's going on. I, I, you know, the commentators, I, I, they say it was not uncommon for a bush I, I, to catch on fire in that area. I, I, but what made it unique was it didn't burn up. I, I, but when God likes that fire in you, I, I, you'll not burn out. I, I, Amen. He'll keep that fire going if you look to him and yield your life unto him. Amen. God can do something with your life. Hallelujah. I, I, but we got to be willing to climb that mountain. I, I, but amen. He had to turn aside. I, and sometimes there's some things I, I, that we got to turn aside from. I, have you ever noticed how there's so many things competing for our time? Yeah. Amen. It's like we're, we still got 24 hours in the day, but I, I, have you ever had one of those days? I have them sometimes. I, I, where it seems like you don't get nothing done. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, you know, you, you got the plans, you got ideas. I, I, but amen. Distractions come before you know the day's over, I, and you didn't get nothing done that you had intended to. I, I, but it's a matter of prioritizing. I, I just like Mary had to choose the good part I, and sit at his feet. I, I, there's nothing wrong with keeping house. I, I, like Martha was saying, I, I, amen, but she was let what? I, I, amen, she was wanting to do, get in the way of her hearing from God. I, I, don't let a good thing, I, I, amen, get out of priority I, I, in your life and cause you to miss hearing from God. Amen. Think about it. I, I said you can want to do a good thing, amen, and just not go about it in the right manner. I, I, and it'll cost you from hearing from God. I, I, but amen, God's got a, a mountaintop experience. I, I, amen. Exodus chapter 17. I, I, Moses is up on the mountain. I, I, amen. With his hands raised and the rod of God in his hand. I, I, they're fighting down in the valley. I, I, amen. When we do get on that mountaintop, we need to remember I, I, the others that are still down there fighting in that valley. I, I, amen. Not everybody. I, I, amen. Is at the same place I, I, in their spiritual growth. I, I, so don't forget them. I, I, that's down to keep them hands up. I, I pray for them. I, I, amen. Pray for the battles that they're fighting. I, I, but even Moses, the man of God that he was, I, I, up on that mountain got tired. I, I, but God said, him a little help. He did. Yeah. I'm glad Amen. God can send us some help. Amen. Amen. Even on the mountaintop. Somebody said, well, I, I wouldn't have thought he'd have got tired up there on the mountain. I, I, but sometimes even on the mountain, I, I, folks can get tired a little bit. I, I, but aren't you glad that God had somebody I, I, up on that mountain? I, I, amen. Praying. I, I interceding for them that were fighting in the valley. I, I, amen. That's why we need to lift up the name of the Lord. I, and the Bible said that they overcome I, I, by the 
blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Brother, somebody needs to hear how good God's been in your life. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Sometimes we get in a complaining stage and everybody talks about how bad, how, how rough, how tough, and then it can be discouraging. Yeah. Amen. We still need somebody to say, well, in spite of all that, God's still good. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, we've all got problems, things we deal with. Amen. I asked Mike when I come in, I said, anybody? I hit a deer up in here. I've known so many down there where I'm from. Have hit deers left and right. Amen. You know, that's just like the enemy. Amen. Want to catch us off guard and try to destroy Encourage us with little things, but in spite of it all, regardless of what you're fighting, what you're facing today, I've come to tell you, heaven's still worth it all. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God's still good. Amen. Bible said that we ought to be thankful, and I'm thankful. You don't have to look very far. Find somebody that's in a lot worse shape than you're in. Amen. I mean, I'm thankful. Hey man, I went for a checkup the other day. And, hey man, they were taking my blood, and I, that little lady looked kind of puzzled. And I said, "What is it?" She said, "I didn't get a good stick in, and it's stopping and starting." I said, "Well, ma'am, maybe I've got forward blood." <laughs> hey man, I just—I mean, I wasn't gonna fuss about. It. I hate getting my blood took. Amen. I'm not going to sit there and cry about it. I, I, amen. Complain about it. I, I use this opportunity to witness to her. I, I talked to her about the war. I, I, she said, well, I, at least she got a good attitude. I said, well, it won't hurt. I, I, amen. In the long run, I mean, what good is he going to do? Sit there and complain. I mean, if we've got to be stuck again, stick me again. Hallelujah. Let's get it over with. Hey man, I got more stuff to do than sit around here and complain. Complaining doesn't help anything. Uh, hey man, it'll hinder. Uh, it'll cause you to lose your focus. It's like getting a thin line of fog uh, uh, over your windshield. You can't see clearly. I uh, put all you do is complain. Right, man. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I remember, let's go on through the scripture. I, I, what about oh, I, Elijah? I, I had to get up there on his mountaintop experience in 1 Kings 18. I, I, he had to face overwhelming odds. I, I, amen. 850 to 1. I, I, amen. A lot of folks would have said, well, I'm outnumbered. I, I, but what did Paul say about it? I, he said, what should we then say to these things? I, I, if God be for us, I, I, who then can be against us. Amen. I, I, amen. He never, amen. I, I don't believe he let it get in there and bother him. I, I, amen. He said, if God be God, then serve him. I, or if Baal, then serve him. I, I, but to get up there on that mountain of Mount Carmel I, and to have that experience, I, I've seen the fire come down I, after they cried and cried and couldn't get no answer I, I, from their idol. I, I, amen. A bell. I, I, amen. God Sit the fire. I, I still believe God's got the fire for us today. Amen. 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 But sometimes you've got to go against the flow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. You've got to face some opposition sometimes. Amen. 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 They may be not prophets of the grove or prophets of Baal. But amen. Sometimes you've got to face some opposition. Yeah. But if you want that mountaintop experience, you've got to be willing to step up. Amen. And say, well, I'm willing. God, if that's where you want me, God, if that's what you want me to do, I'm willing. Amen. And he stepped up and look how God blessed him. Amen. And I thought about all those times in my life that God said, amen, go. Amen. And I went. And then those times that he said, go, and I didn't go. Yeah. What have I missed? Yeah, yeah. Amen. That's why I'm glad to be here today. I'm glad to be I, I, in the house of God. Yeah. I, I, amen. Every one of you had to put forth some effort. I, I, but I pray God bless your effort this morning. I, yeah. I pray yeah. God bless, amen, your labor. I, I, for coming to the house of God that yeah. you get something. I, I, but just as Elijah, I, I had to climb that mountain I, and put a little labor in. I, I sometimes we got to climb some. Amen. Amen. If you come over to the latter part of that same chapter, 
when it was time for that famine, amen, to be over with. I, I, amen, and he tells his servant, go look. I, 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 I've mentioned this before here. I, I, you know, if that would have been me, I'd have been pretty tickled because, I, I, amen, this is the man that prayed that it rained not, and it rained not for three and a half years. I, I mean, man, he'd have probably run up that night and go, whoo, this is going to be a quick trip. Yeah. Nothing happened that first time. And man, that discourages a lot of young Christians. Because yeah. they say, well, I prayed. We'll pray again. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Don't quit. The Bible said men always look to pray and not faint. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so Elisha told him, he said, go again till seven times. Amen. Elijah, amen, is giving him the instruction. I, I, but sometimes, I, I, amen, do we give up short of that seventh time? But that seventh time when he went up, I, I wonder, was he any slower, amen, between those trips? I, amen, because nothing had happened. I, I, man, we need to hang on to the fact that if God said it, I, I, he'll do it. I, I, just like he said, even though I can't see it yet, I, even though it looks like it isn't going to happen, I, I, amen, God said it in God's word, I, I will not fail. So that seventh time, he said, well, I see a little cloud about the size of a man's hand after such a long famine. You'd have thought it had been something spectacular. You'd have thought it had been something uh, enormous or ginormous. But it was started out with just a little cloud. Yeah. And when God moves, even if it seems to be a small thing, it's enough. Yeah. And what did he say? He said, I hear sound abundance of rain. Amen, friend. I still believe that God, if you climb that mountain, I, I, that God is able to give us that sound abundance I, of rain. I, I, but somewhere between trip one and trip seven, a lot of time we lose heart. Or we let the enemy knock that spiritual wind out of us. With a, amen. I remember when we used to do revivals, two weeks, three weeks. I, I, now you go about two days and people are dead. They're, oh, I'm killed. I'm tired. Amen. We're not seeing that many mountaintop experiences because we're not willing to make the climb. But I believe we still got to sacrifice. Amen. 1 Kings chapter 19, the very next chapter. Amen. We find that here a man in the previous chapter had been up on the mountain, seen God move. Amen. See the hand of God move in the fire and see him move. And that small cloud the size of a man's hand. I got discouraged because of Jezebel's threat. And then we find him on the mountain, but he's hiding in a cave. Yeah. Hiding in the darkness. God never meant the mountaintop to be a place for you to hide. No. I know some places, amen, that if you go and you ain't as shot and shoot it was out there, say, you even saved? Sometimes we fight battles even on the mountaintops, is what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And God wants to get us out of that cave experience. I, and God wants us to know the same God that sent the fire, I, I, that sent the rain can also get us out of that cave. I, I, he didn't want Elijah to stay in that cave because there was an Elisha out there I, I, that needed that mantle, that needed his testimony. I, and brother, we cannot, I, I, we must not, amen, hide ourselves. I, I, amen, there is a generation out there that is happy. I need to hear what we've seen and what we've heard I, and to hear about the goodness of God I, I, because just like Brother Mike quoted, he said, occupy till I come. Amen. I, I know a lot of folks would say I'm still a young pup, <laughs> but I've been blessed to see a lot of things in the years that I've been in ministry. Yeah. But there are a lot of younger folks that have not seen what you and I take for granted. Yeah. And so if we sit down and hide ourselves, amen, in that cave, amen, how are they ever going to know? How are they ever going to hear, amen, if we are hiding, if we are trying to take refuge in that cave and to try, amen, to just, you know, wait till Jesus comes. But I still believe there's a mountain or two to be climbed. Amen. Hello. I still believe there's some things that need to be done. There's work to be done. If there was no work to be done, we'd be out of here. That's right. 
Amen. When he's done, amen, then I believe he's coming. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. But until he's done, we should not give one inch of territory, of our family, of our community. I, I, amen to that enemy. Amen. We've got to keep pressing. I, I, amen. Up that mountaintop. We've got to keep climbing that mountain. I, I, that experience that he has for us. I, I, if we want to see the hand of God move I, I, in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. I seen a commercial the other day that really I think speaks to our generation. Amen. Said a lot of times we want the benefits, amen, without the labor that it takes to bring it forth. Yeah, sure. amen. And I really believe that it's trying to carry over into the church world. We want it all pre-planned, planned out. We want to come in and we want to enjoy. But you know what? The Bible said my house should be called what? House of prayer. We ought to be known as a praying people. But sometimes, amen, to see that greatest victory takes one of the hardest mountaintops I, I that you'll ever find. And we'll find in Matthew chapter 27, I, I, Jesus himself had a place, amen, on the mountain, a mountain called Calvary. Amen. amen. And Jesus said, if you suffer with me, you'll reign with me. Amen, but a lot of times we don't talk much about the suffering, but how many know life can be hard sometimes? Yeah, amen. I'm telling you, if we just keep on digging, keep on laboring, amen, we'll find that God's still good in spite of it all. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I said God's still good in spite of it all. And as they stood there and they couldn't understand, I, he saved others. I, I, why don't he save himself? But he hung there I, I, because of you and me. I, I, if he'd have come down, I, I, friend, there'd have been no hope for you and I today. I, I, but sometimes when we are suffering, I, I, we don't always understand the why. I, why's it going to be this way? I, I, why do I got to go through this? I, I, what Jesus said in the world, you're going to have tribulation. But he said, in me, you can have peace. Amen. So if you're looking for something today, I'm telling you, the greatest gift you'll ever find, amen, it's not under this tree. No. It's at this altar. To where you find that you make peace with God. And brother, what a relief it is to lay down and know that if I don't wake up in the morning, yeah. praise God. It's going to be all right. Amen. Amen that God is good. Amen. And even yeah. in my hardest struggle, I, amen, God is good. I, I was over in Uganda back in May of this year. I, amen. And, and uh, I, I never will forget one night we were in a place that was really tough. I, amen. As far as spiritual battles. I, I mean, they had every kind of idol, everything that you'd imagine, and they fought us. I, I seem like on every hand. I, I, amen. Man, but one night I never will forget I was preaching and my, my interpreter he elbowed me I, and we had a little canopy over us I, and he said don't you see what's going on and I said why hey man I asked him I said I watch you why and hey man it's pouring the rain they still standing there in the rain because they wanted to hear they was tired and this one army major come up and he fell down and he put his hands out. I mean, I'm a big old brute of a man. He said, I've done the alcohol. And it's leaving me empty. He said, I've tried so many things. And I'm still not satisfied. He said, I'm tired of running. I want to know about this Jesus. Amen. And after we prayed with him, he said, I want you to send somebody to my home with me. I want them to hear about this God that I've just accepted. And not only did he get saved, but his whole family ended up getting saved. Amen. I'm telling you, there are people out there that want this gospel. They want yeah, to hear yeah. Amen. If you're willing to put forth the effort. But amen, many times that week, I, I, amen, during all the discouragement and the, the, the storms and the things that happened, I, it would have been easy to say, well, I, I, you know, too much aggravation, let's go to the house. And look what we would have missed. But just three days later, after the crucifixion of Jesus, he come out of there victorious over death, hell, and the grave. Amen. 
And I want to say this to you this morning is that the suffering that you find on Mount Calvary doesn't end there. It's not forever. Amen. It's only temporary. God's got something better for his people. The Bible said, eye is not seen, ear is not heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man all of the good things that he's prepared for them that love him. Yeah. Brother, if we'll just hang on, even when we find ourselves suffering on our mountaintop experience, yeah. amen, we'll realize one day it was worth it all. Amen. I've got one more scripture I want to give you, and I'll close. Get out of the way. Acts chapter 1. Amen. She went out nine to Bethany. Amen. And this was an experience for them that they'd never forget. Because this is the same Jesus that they'd seen walk with them, cast out devils. Amen. Heal the sick, raise the dead. Amen. And he began to break the bonds of gravity. And he began to rise up into the air and they stood there gazing. And all of a sudden, there were two men stood by and cried a prayer and said, You men of Galilee, why stand you here gazing? This same Jesus, not a different one, but this same Jesus, a man that you see going away shall come again in like manner. And so that place became the place of their promise. And sometimes it's so important for us to climb that mountain so we can just be reminded he's coming again. He ain't going to leave me here. I've got a good friend named Roger. He sings, he won't leave me in this desert where it's so dusty and dry. Man, I tell you, somebody said, well, I'm always going to get that goose bump on my goose bump. Amen. When I get on that mountain, sometimes it's just to remind you he's coming back. Amen. Amen. Carry that good news off that mountain down into that valley and be reminded, amen, that there's a better place. For Paul even said as I close, he said, if in this life alone we had hope in Christ, by all men we'd be most miserable. But I've come to share with you my Christmas message this morning that this is not all that there is. There is a world that's coming. It's coming soon. Amen. See the signs of his appearing all around. So let's keep climbing them mountains. Let's keep praying them prayers, singing them songs, preaching those messages. Because I'm telling you, the effort's going to be worth it one day. Every head bowed and all eyes closed. Amen. As we've come this morning to do exactly, amen, what we felt like God would have us to do, try to be obedient. Amen. I I tried to share my heart with you this morning. I I don't want to take that for granted. Amen. And assume that we're all right. We all say maybe maybe there's somebody here at not exactly where they need to be with God. And I promise you, as I always have in times past, if you raise your hand, I ain't going to come back and try to embarrass you. Amen. Just want to give you that opportunity this morning. Amen. One of the greatest gifts you will ever find is right here. If you're here and you're not where you need to be with God, you need to make peace with Him. Would there be one anywhere, just raise that hand, put it right back down. Amen. Saying, that's me. I need, I need prayer. Anybody? All right. I've done my very best to share with you what God put in my heart. I appreciate the opportunity. Amen. Let's pray for our people. Let's pray. Amen. For our lost People are dying. Amen. People need to be saved. Amen. But we as the church need to keep climbing. Amen. Amen. Let us not grow weary and well doing for in due season we shall be if if we faint not. Amen. Hang on. Right. Hang on. God bless you. Amen. We do appreciate Blake. That's a wonderful message. Yeah. We all need it. I, we all, I guess if you've been born again of God's Holy Spirit, we've all had a mountaintop experience. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad I come up here May the 15th, 1994, and it was right here. I had my mountaintop experience. And that's why this church here is a special place <laughs> in my heart. I yep. know it's special in all of us heart, but I thought about the first message that he brought that up about Abraham and Isaac. God will provide. And that's the first message I ever preached was God will provide. 
And you know, it don't take, if you won't go, or somebody else won't, God will provide. Yeah. There'll always be a man, because God put this church here on the mountain. He put it here. He sanctified it. Yeah. And if I won't come preach, God will provide. There'll always be somebody. I believe this, like I said the other night in the funeral. I believe one day after a while, many people, they, they, like I said, once you take hold of the old gospel plow, looking back, you're not fit for the kingdom of God, but there'll come a day when I'll have to turn loose of this old plow. You'll have to turn loose of it. But don't ever think that the church will fall. Mm -mm, don't ever think that. There'll be another man. That God is called down from heaven. Right. And he'll come. And he'll take hold of that old plow. <laughs> and he'll say, let's go, Lord. Praise the Lord today. I'm glad we've got a God that's going to take care of us. Amen. And he will provide. Yeah. But like Blake Priest today, uh, we can't just stay at the bottom of the mountain. We've got to put forth an effort. To see that what's on the other side. <laughs> I'm glad today. I'm glad I'm, I'm, I'm climbing that mountain. Amen. And I've got. I've had a few mountaintop experiences. We are, we've all had them. But that keeps us a going, don't it? Yeah. It keeps that faith when God blesses us to have just a little side or a little vision of what we're expecting heaven to be. It keeps us keep on going. And I appreciate the Lord, appreciate all that came today. But most of all, I appreciate Jesus Amen. for what he did and what he's doing. I know he said his work's finished. He uses the church now. But there's so much more of Jesus that we can have in our hearts if we just, if we just want it. And I pray this on coming year, we would ask God to give us more. And to have more, he's there. To have more, we're going to have to put, like Blake said, we're going to put forth a little bit of effort. Yeah. And boy, when we experience that mountaintop experience, I don't go home and don't thank him for it. But when I go, I want to thank him right here in the church. We've had a mountaintop experience today. Amen. I've felt the presence of God, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. It's feeling his presence Amen. and knowing that he's real and knowing Amen. that he loves us and cares for us. But I pray everybody have a wonderful Christmas this year and, and, and just keep Jesus. It's a wonderful time of year to, to be a witness to the lost people. You know, you go to your, to, your, uh, to your family, your friends. You're around a lot of people this time of year. And it's a wonderful time to mention Jesus yeah. to everybody. Yeah. Talk about Brother Rick, and, and uh, he, he's a wonderful example. I'm not I'm gonna lift him up a little bit, but you go somewhere with him, he's all the time. Do you know Jesus? He'll talk about Jesus to them, strangers, and pray with them. We prayed with some, you know, but uh, you never know. You might run into that very one. We was over to the hospital, maybe a couple months ago, and and they was one there crying, you know. And I went. I walked by the first time, but God gave me another opportunity, and we come back down, and they was tore all to pieces. Their family was in there, getting ready to leave this world, and all they wanted was somebody to pray with them. And we got to pray with them. I, it's a privilege. It ain't a God. It's a privilege and honor just to be able to pray with people. And God has given us that ability to reach out a hand. I thought about Wendell preaching that at the other night. God's hand's still outstretched. <laughs> it's still outstretched for everybody. His arm, it ain't got too short that he cannot save. His ears ain't dull that he cannot hear. He's still, the, the plan of salvation still going out on account of what he done. God sent his son to save his people from their sins. Well, if we know, I'm, I'm glad to be saved today. Amen. I'm glad to be on the road to heaven. Amen. May God bless you all, and we'll dismiss in prayer here today. Father in heaven.